Do you ever wonder why your kids like to egg you on? Like, why do they fight with us? Why, when we ask them to do something, or especially tell them not to do something, that they intentionally try to do it or defy us? One of the reasons is that the way that we've responded to them since they were very young provides them with what we call a goodie. So we think that yelling at them should discourage them, but actually many kids have learned if we yell at them, it's attention, that they're actually getting a sense of feeling powerful or feeling important because if we're yelling at them, it means they matter. So even though it's negative, the way their little brains work, it kind of works, it has the opposite effect of what we intend when we um, yell at them a lot. And while an, a, a yell can be effective, like let's say if a kid is running into the street, like a sharp yell can stop them and you know keep them from danger, but persistent yelling, and especially if you've asked them to do something over and over again, and you escalate. So you start off asking them, can you please take out the trash? Can you please take out the trash? Get that trash out right now. It's that escalation of your emotional response that provides them with a goodie or a benefit or something that reinforces the obstinate behavior or the defiant behavior. So one of the best tools that I found in the entire universe for preventing this from happening in the first place and for um, discouraging it in the moment when it's happening is for you to respond like a broken record. So how do you do that? How do you just respond over and over and over without losing your temper? Because the younger the child is, the more repetitions you'll have to make. It might take 20 or 30 or 50 or 100 times before they'll get it because young children learn best through repetition and redirection. So what you wanna do is every time you have a discipline situation come up with your children, you wanna think about, okay, what's the best response here. Like, let's say my son, when he was little, was we'd be playing out in the front yard. Let's say he started to run towards the street. Well, I would pick him up. I'll say, I'll ask myself, well, what am I going to do? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick him up and I'm going to carry him back into the house. And I'm going to say, Michael will learn that if he wants to play in the front yard, that he can't run in the street or he's going to have to go back in the house and I'll stick him back in the house. And then I'll try again a little while later. We'll go outside and we'll play. And if he runs towards the street, I'll do the same thing again. So I'll pick him up and I'll say, Michael will learn that if he wants to play in the front yard, that he has to stay in the yard or he has to go into the house. And I'll just respond like a broken record over and over and over without escalating, without losing it. The moment I lose it, let's say he does it five times or 10 times and I get exasperated and I yell at him. What has he learned? Right. <laughs> He's learned it's going to take her 10 times or 15 times and then she's going to give in or lose it and I'm going to win. So it's really important to stick with the broken record and kids will get it eventually. If you just respond over and over the same way, you can wear them out just the same way that they can wear you out by screaming and yelling. But you're keeping your calm. You're staying emotionally at an even level and you will win parental influence that way. So think about it next time that your child does something. Ask yourself, what's the best response here right now? And do it like a broken record. Have a great day. Happy parenting.